Hi, my name is Kiran Mai. I lead the PhD program at Srishti Manipal Institute of Art, Design and Technology. Um, today, I want to talk uh, to you about the PhD program that we have here, especially in the context of uh, a practice-based PhD that we have uh, developed as a framework. And with me, I have two of my colleagues, Dr. Amresha Das, uh, who would talk about uh, the importance of PhD in the changing world and Dr. Srivi Kalyan, who talks about the modalities of practice-based PhD and how uh, it can be implemented, how it can be approached in Srishti. Hi, I am Anvesha. My colleague, Dr. Kiranmay Indraganti, was already mentioning to you about the PhD program. I am an associate professor at Srishti Manipal Institute, and I also coordinate uh, varied PhD-related activities for the program. Um, when we talk of research, what is it that we mean? You know, as the very famous Hungarian biochemist Albert uh, Georgi says, research is what everybody sees. You see what everybody sees, but as a researcher, you think what nobody has thought. So, in a PhD program, while you embark on a doctoral research, either you conform to what the world sees, or you decide to embark on a journey to raise questions, intriguing questions, and develop an original perspective in interpreting a story. A PhD will enable you to delve into systematic speculation, scholarship, practice, leading you into critical and strategic implementation of knowledge into practice. It lays emphasis on the you know, practicality of analytical approach towards application so it's more of how you use theoretical knowledge towards applying it in varied multiple contexts. In this world where everything is in a flux, there is changing technologies, changing climate, there are international conflicts, national narrow-mindedness, varied transitions of society formations. In such a scenario, a PhD enables you to connect to people by uh, questioning existing patterns of thought and raising questions about how to make meaning of the world we are living in and how to improve and create a better life for all of us on the earth. Hi, I'm Dr. Shrevi Kalyan. Uh, my colleagues Dr. Kiranmayi and Dr. Anvesha have shared a little bit about the larger focus of the PhD program and the practice research program at Srishti. Uh, Manipal and uh, what I would like to share is a little bit of the journey and story of how uh, the practice research program at uh, Srishti Manipal has come to be and what is it that we are looking at as a framework for how uh, our uh, PhD students and uh, our faculty and our mentors can work towards creating new knowledge in the area of practices. Um, largely speaking, we are a country with a very rich tradition of culture, uh, of practice, and, and in many, many different dimensions. And here, uh, we are looking at our own speciality, which is art and design as a focus. And all of the other fields which intersect with art and design as a discipline, uh, and see where new practices can emerge and new kind of knowledge around these practices can emerge. So we have, uh, in, in Srishti, we have developed practice uh, research uh, uh, framework, which also allows, which really maximizes opportunities for various ways of reflection and analysis. Uh, Srishti, which uh, began a good 28 years or so ago, uh, has been spending its years from its conception in looking at practice and research through practice. Uh, and about 10 years ago, we started the PhD program and we looked at what it would mean to delve into practice knowledge. And now uh, in this year, we are really taking this forward into a framework and enabling more researchers to come into play, looking at creative practices at the core. And when we say creative practices, we've looked at multiple kinds of creative practices and key areas of practice, uh, which largely look at art and design as practices, design as a meta concept where you look at systems, you look at um, solving wicked problems, management. We look also at intersection spaces uh, and uh, spaces where we interact and build 
with society, with community, with context, with environment as a whole. Uh, we look at the intersectional spaces between art and design and uh, the kind of new knowledge that is emerging which is very different from what would have been a traditional fine arts or uh, sort of a contemporary practices uh, in the arts or design practices. So, we look at these uh, spaces of intersection. Uh, but what we are really also excited about is uh, creating a space for the traditional knowledge or kala as we call it where uh, we didn't have these strict binaries of art or design. So, there are there is a whole range of key areas of practices that we are looking at. Uh, we are also looking at how art and design is used as research methods uh, and uh, how this can be a very, very interesting and new area of study. If you happen to be a practitioner of art and design, your study will include both the practice and the practitioner through tacit knowledge frameworks that guide them and it will lead you to creating new dimensions of knowledge. A practice research enables you to integrate multiple fields of practice and therefore it is interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary or cross-disciplinary in nature. Furthermore, a practice research enables us to create ways in which theoretical discussions can be brought into existing practice contexts and enable us to see the world in a new lens. In order to take the practice research uh, forward and our doctoral research uh, program, um, what it intends to do is to bring um, various uh, uh, experts into the ecosystem. Um, both international scholars, um, national scholars from different educational institutions, um, either on the research uh, advisory committees or as supervisors, co-supervisors, in the belief that it really enriches the pursuit of students, interdisciplinary research especially, and it allows uh, the program uh, also to produce different uh, diversity in research, which is, uh, which is one of our uh, uh, chief uh, objectives as well. In the process, we also uh, try to invite uh, students from um, very different backgrounds, different age groups, different uh, orientations, uh, whether from practice based, uh, them, themselves being practitioners or from, uh, you know, backgrounds of science, art, design and uh, uh, across different disciplines. And um, similarly, even supervisors, co-supervisors who come to really interact with their knowledge production also come from different backgrounds. And this really uh, makes the whole um, activity of, uh, you know, uh, research development, uh, dissemination of research also very exciting and really expansive. We have two models of practice research uh, in the framework that we have developed. Uh, one which is a PhD practice by thesis and the other is a uh, thesis and I mean an exegesis and an artifact that you can work on together. What's very exciting about both these approaches um, is that in the PR1 framework as we are calling it, uh, where it is through a thesis, you can investigate your own practice or the practice of another, but you're bringing in the lens of the practitioner and your own deeper understanding of how a practice is uh, um, looked at through multiple layers as Dr. Kiran May had shared and in that you may investigate the practice in um, multiple kinds of explorations, uh, different uh, sort of years of practice that you may have done that you bring back to the table and analyze and reflect on and then you write this uh, thesis that is partly actually read through the kind of creative practice that you have done. So, it is it's a question of a new reading of knowledge itself that is uh, happening in this mode. In the PR2 mode where we look at an artifact and an exegesis, uh, what if your question, your creative question for the research can be answered only by making a product, making an artifact, making a film, making a, a dance production, making a theatre production, what is it that that kind of making enables? And is there no other way we can answer this question? Is there a mode of uh, textual answering that is not possible and therefore we must make to answer a question? And this provides us a very profound and interesting investigating lens in research. And 
you accompany that practice and that making of the artifact along with an exegesis which explains the creative process or production, it explains the conceptual or philosophical foundation or the intersection spaces that you are working with. And this together creates these two modes in which you could do the research and it enables multiple kinds of practices and multiple kinds of uh, engagement with your own research question. <laughs>